Let's look at the hybridization for each atom in SO3, sulfur trioxide. What we'll do is look at the regions around each atom to figure out the hybridization of SO3. We'll count unbonded electron pairs and sigma bonds. Between each sulfur and oxygen atom, we have a double bond. And that double bond is made up of first a sigma bond and then a pi bond. We're only concerned with the sigma bonds here. Let's start by looking at the hybridization on the central sulfur atom. You can see that we have three sigma bonds that are attached to the central sulfur atom. That means we have three regions. If we have three regions, that means we have an s and two p orbitals being hybridized. That makes it sp2 hybridization. For the oxygens, they're all the same, so we only need to do one. We have our one sigma bond, and then we have two pairs of unbonded electrons. That gives us three regions, which of course is sp2 hybridized. All of the oxygens are the same and have sp2 hybridization. So that's the hybridization on SO3, sulfur trioxide. This is Dr. B, and thanks for watching.